Thanks, Lorna. Well, the mercury is rising at Wimbledon today with temperatures expected to be over 30 degrees Celsius on the centre court. But how will the ball respond to such extremes of temperature? Well, the greater the on-court temperature, the greater the air pressure inside the ball. This causes the ball to expand and become less dense, giving it greater bounce. There we go, I did it. In physics, this behaviour by the ball is explained by what's known as Boyle's Law. Nothing to do with Susan. It's named after the physicist Robert Boyle, who published his theory in 1662. One important other fact to remember, during the long hot summer of 1976, the tennis balls got so hot at Wimbledon that some of them even exploded. So perhaps those returning serve this afternoon should be on their guard. John, <laughs> to you. Brilliant. Normally, normally when I drop that, that's known as Murphy's Law. <laughs> so to uh, Wimbledon and Venus Williams. Through to the semi-finals, will Sister Serena make it too? Oh, by the way, Jackie, you, you might as well have this, mightn't you? Here you go. <laughs> Ooh, nearly such a bad throw, Desi. Can't believe how bad that was. So, so let me get this right. The hotter the weather, the higher pressure in the ball. And clearly the faster it goes all the way to yeah, Wimbledon. You're glazing over already.